with persistence and the wrong tool, it is sometimes possible to get the job done. But with the right tool, it's so much easier. This video is about choosing a software tool to support Six Sigma. I'm Denton Bramwell, Senior Master Black Belt. Spoiler alert, I recommend our product Quick Sigma, but we'll take a realistic look at some other alternatives as well. One of the important things about Quick Sigma is that it has a project-oriented structure so the tools are presented in the time and place where they will be used. It not only provides structure, it provides both the statistical and the non-statistical tools you need, and it leads you step by step through chartering your project, understanding the existing situation, uh, choosing and implementing changes, and putting a control plan in place. It's designed to help you complete a successful project. A spreadsheet, on the other hand, is a general purpose tool. It can't have a project-oriented structure. You have to provide that yourself. If you need statistical tools, they're available. Here's an example of how the Linest function in Excel finds the relationship between two sets of numbers. Most of the answers you probably want are in this block of data, but making sense of it all requires some work. Here's the same data analyzed in Quick Sigma. It gives you all the same answers, but more important, it puts the important ones in easy to understand gas gauges, provides graphical output, and gives you this handy optimizer tool to help you make predictions based on the statistical model you've created. Of course, you can use spreadsheet add-ins. We used those in the early days before we had Quick Sigma. Here's how we did failure modes and effects analysis back then. If someone's willing to create the needed structure, this sort of thing is a lot faster than doing it with pencil and paper, but not as fast as doing it in a dedicated application. Another approach is Minitab. It was designed in 1972 at Penn State by the statistics faculty to support university-level studies in statistics. Not surprisingly, it's organized like a statistics textbook. The good news is it's a very competent statistics program. The bad news is that's all it is. It does not have a project-oriented structure, and it does not offer the non-statistical tools. Until we built Quick Sigma, we used Minitab. When we switched to Quick Sigma, it shortened the time it takes to teach Six Sigma by about a third. Quick Sigma is a complete package for the quality and process improvement practitioner. Its tools are usable independently or in a defined, measure, analyze, improve, and control structure. It has the tools you need to clarify your objectives, understand your process, choose your improvements, demonstrate success, and put a control plan in place. For black belts, it offers an outstanding suite of advanced tools, including factorial experiments, screening experiments, and central composite designs. The simple and advanced statistical tools are designed to put the power of statistics into the hands of the project team without the intellectual embroidery. Thanks for watching. Thank you.